Hi, welcome to the demonstration video of the Udo's number one application, the Dashboard Ninja. In this video, we will understand the configuration of a dashboard. Okay, how can we configure a new dashboard? What are the requirements for the very same? So to understand this functionality, we have to go to configuration. We will click on dashboards. Here you can see multiple dashboards which are already created into the server. You can access any one of them. You can perform several actions over them. But yes, now if we want to create a new dashboard, in that scenario, we have to click on create. We can see all these columns. All these purple columns are the mandatory columns, which we need to fill as a mandatory option. Dashboard name, I'll keep it as the uh, mark demo. But mark demo is already a dashboard, so I'll keep it as Michel Edmund. Menu name, I'll keep it under my dashboard. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll keep it as Michel only. To show it under menu, I'll keep it as my dashboard. I am not keeping any group access as of now. We have different default templates. Basically, Dashboard Ninja provides you four to five different templates which are predefined. Okay. You can use any of them. I am keeping it blank as of now. Update interval is a very important feature. It allows you to set up a time that after how much time you want your data to be refreshed onto your dashboard automatically. We have 20 predefined date filters, which are dynamic filters, which you can choose from here for the default settings. Slide interval is also a very important feature that you need to choose to for the TV mode. Okay. So once you select all these columns, once you fill up all this information required, you can save this. And once you save this, Okay, you can even edit this. I will be keeping it at one. So once you save your dashboard and you refresh it, you can see the Michel admin will be into the dashboard list now. You can see this Michel has come over here. And once you click here, you can see Michel admin is an empty dashboard. Since I have not chosen any of the templates, right? If I would have chosen a template like sales, accounting or CRM, it would be showing you the items under those templates. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this would be of great help. In case of any other queries, you can reach us at sales at the